Prior to using Streamline Express with the Fresenius 2008 series machine, users must verify the blood pump is configured for 8mm internal diameter pump segments, ensure the machine's level detector has been calibrated to the Streamline Express venous chamber, ensure the machine has been set up with the prime amount method and the prime amount is 300 milliliters minimum, verify the Streamline dialyzer holder is placed on the upper or lower venous bloodline tubing clip. Now we'll demonstrate setup of Streamline Express and priming of the blood circuit. Begin by hanging a saline bag on the machine's IV pole hook. Remove Streamline Express from its packaging and place the dialyzer in the dialyzer holder with the venous end up. With Streamline Express, priming waste buckets are not required. Slits have been added to the packaging bag so that it can hang on the machine as a receptacle for plastic caps and coiling tape. Holding the dual lumen priming spike and outer coiling tape in one hand, Use the other hand to remove the long piece of thin tape around the outside of the tubing set, securing the coils from dropping. Hang the dual lumen spike on the IV pole hook. Close the small blue clamp on the short tube of the priming spike set and discard tape. Remove the remaining white tape from the arterial portion of the set and place on the machine for gravity priming of the pump segment using tubing clips to prevent the tubing from touching the floor. Clamp the level adjust medication line, venous pod monitor line, and heparin line, and remove the coiling tape from these lines. Remove the remaining white or blue coiling tape from the venous portion of the set. Place the venous chamber in the level detector chamber holder. Do not place the venous tubing in the venous clamp. If you can't see the position, use a syringe to insert or remove air. This causes the diaphragm to move. Make sure the pod flexible diaphragms are in the correct position. Using aseptic technique, remove the cap from the dual lumen priming spike and insert the spike into the saline bag using a twisting motion until the saline bag outlet is flush with the disc of the dual lumen priming spike. Gravity prime the arterial line through the pump segment up to the arterial line connection to the arterial connection of the dialyzer, expelling all air before inserting in the blood pump.
ensure the arterial line is completely filled with saline and all air is expelled. Position the arterial pod dome facing outward and thread the pump segment into the blood pump. Start the blood pump between 150 and 200 milliliters per minute and immediately open the small blue clamp on the short tube of the dual lumen priming spike set. When the initial prime is complete, approximately two minutes, the blood pump will stop. Press the start stop key to start the blood pump and set to 400 milliliters per minute. Fill the venous chamber with saline using the level adjust medication line to expel all air from the chamber and place the line in the line clamp optical detector. Reset the level detector alarm. The Streamline Express is now ready for recirculation, machine testing, and final setup procedure before initiating dialysis. Perform the machine test per the machine operator manual instructions and proceed to recirculation when the test is successful. When prompted to attach dialysate hoses, stop the blood pump, remove dialyzer port caps, Observe saline in the dialyzer ports and gently tap the dialyzer to dislodge air. Rotate the dialyzer multiple times to ensure connections are secure and that air has been removed from the dialyzer. Attach pod monitor lines to machine pressure ports and open clamps. Start the blood pump. Ensure all air is expelled from the blood tubing set. Gently tap the arterial and venous pods. Initiate treatment per your unit policies and procedures.